On this unboxing, we'll be unboxing the DC Multiverse Batman from the Flashpoint Paradox Universe. So, let's get... How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I am Link, and today we are unboxing the Batman from the Flashpoint Paradox Universe from DC Multiverse. It's from McFarlane Toys. This looks absolutely amazing. The Flashpoint Paradox Batman is one of my favorite Batmans of all time, just because of overall the suit design. I mean, just look at the art on this box. It is absolutely mind-bogglingly good. It's so cool. That's a really cool piece. The art on him is awesome. So here's the box, and it looks absolutely amazing. He looks amazing inside of it. He's really rough and gruff, because this is Thomas Wayne. This isn't Bruce Wayne. He's older. He's more brutal, after all. Instead, a spoiler for Flashpoint, instead of uh, Bruce's parents dying, it's Bruce himself. And let's just say Martha Wayne goes off the deep end, and I'll leave it at that. If you want to know more about Martha Wayne in the Flashpoint Paradox universe, better check that out, because it's not pretty. It's not pretty. And he goes off the deep end, he becomes into a way darker Batman. He's, he runs a casino, he flippin' does, he's an alcoholic, or he's just, he's just always drinking. And he uses guns. Look at the red on his suit. Absolutely amazing. All right, so let's get this thing open, shall we? And check it out. I did not, I don't even know how they got him in here. I don't even know how they got him in there. Jesus. He also does not want to stay up at all. Which is kind of disappointing. I gotta get these guns out first. These guns came out way easier. Alright, so he's finally out. Jesus, that was a struggle. So, I would have liked him co to come with some closed fist hands, though. He only looks like he has some open hands, and that's for the gun. And that's it. But his two red holsters on the side do work to hold his gun, so which is a nice bonus. I'm going to put those in there for now so I don't lose them, because I have a habit of losing stuff. The maneuverability on him is not that good as well. 
especially the cape is really rigid. Would have been nice if it was a soft material and not like a rubber. Yeah, this is really some not. God, the maneuverability on this is terrible. What the heck, McFarlane? You could have done a lot better than this. And you can't even try to hide the seams. His hands rotate terribly. I'm afraid to snap anything. What the heck? Man, this might be just an in the, spot, in the box display piece, and that is it. Golly. You know, I had high hopes for you, McFarlane. Your spawn figures are amazing, but this... This just is terrible. I can't even stand him up. He won't stand really well on the base. I guess I got him to stand up. He's kind of in a pose there. But probably not a really good... Actually, that could be a really good pose, actually. He's just walking forward. He's pulling out his guns. He's got one out. Actually, I might just found the pose for him if I'm going to keep him out of the box. But So he can stand without the base, which is promising. Although, his dang peg holes might be too small for this base. But it does help him stand, which is nice. If you get him in the right pose to balance out the weight. Kind of sucks so, his arms can't move that much. They don't easily turn. Kind of terrible, to be completely honest. But that is an actual cool pose. Um, I wouldn't give this a 10 out of 10, and I don't recommend buying this if you want to take it out of the box and if you really want to pose it, because it's just not easy to pose. I mean, I, I can see a couple simple poses on this, but not really any, like, really fun poses. But more like batman stop poses, brooding, and walking forward intimidating, but that's about it. All in all, I'd give this a basically a maybe 5 out of 10. I don't know. I was really having high hopes for this one. I know I'm going to get a lot. I love the Batman from Flashpoint Paradox. I love Thomas Wayne's Batman. I love Batman in general. But I will give my honest opinion about stuff. And if I had the chance to buy this again, with and with knowing all of this before I bought it, I probably wouldn't have bought it, or I would have waited until it went on clearance, to be completely honest. I mean, I did get this on sale instead of 19.99, it was 17.99, but yeah, I don't know if it's worth it, to be completely honest. I'm definitely probably going to have it back in its box, just for easier, because I know on my NECA figures, it may stand perfectly fine right now, but over time, it might fall over. And I don't really want that. But I'll have some pictures for you at the end of this video, some close-ups during this video, obviously. So if you like this video and you found it informative, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, share this video with friends. We are doing a giveaway if we reach 500 subscribers before the end of 2021. And that is a Funko Pop. You have a chance to win a Funko Pop. And if we reach 1,000 before the end of 2021, you'll get two chances to win. And, uh, of one Funko Pop and something special that I'm saving for later. I actually have decided now. I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, if I'll tell you when we get to like 750 subscribers, if that happens. But as always, my fellow collectors, check out my Twitter, my Patreon, like, share, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day and peace out.